Hi, I'm Lyle Supel, and I'm here in Maui, and uh, I'm here for a, a private uh, showing with Lahaina Galleries. So this is an annual event that I do um, with Lahaina Galleries, and it's a private event. We're going to open up on in Wailea, and we're going to open up on Saturday to uh, some private guests, but um, that's not available yet to show you, so I'll be sending you some pictures later on in the week, but um, I wanted to um, introduce you to um, a, a Hawaiian carver that I've met here, and he's uh, calls himself a tiki carver, but I've never seen any tikis like this in my life. These are incredible things. They're much bigger than life, and um, he's a, a traditional Hawaiian wood carver that's been carving wood for more than 50 years. So he is uh, incredible. And uh, you can see behind me there's one of his, his more incredible pieces. And I'm going to just turn the camera around so we can have a, a look at, at him, and I'll introduce you to him and some of his work. This is Tini Lavaca. And he's a, a Hawaiian master carver. And um, let me just show you some of the work that he's got here in his, in his gallery. So here we have like an incredible piece. If you'd like to stand beside it, we can get an idea of actually how large this piece is. There you are. Wow. That's incredible. And in the front part here, he's got some also incredible pieces that are way bigger than, than life. I can't imagine the piece of wood this came from, but how, how long have you had this piece and how long did it take you to produce this particular? Uh, this, this two pieces, this one piece and I split it. Split it in half? In half. So I worked for those two for about three years. Three years to create yeah. these pieces. And I finished it the last ten years. It took years. them ten years to finish these pieces. Wow, well. that's so incredible. Three years to, to, to come, and uh, I, I finished it last ten years. Ten years ago. Ten years ago, that's incredible. Yeah. Oh, it's so great to... Um, so great to meet a, uh, a fellow carver, uh, even though we, we um, work in different mediums, the idea of sculpture and creating is so much a part of our lives. So I'm just wondering if you could share some uh, stories about how you got started. How, how did you get started carving wood in Hawaii? How... I, I'm, I'm, I'm the third generation carver. Third generation? Third oh. generation. So you know, when I'm growing up, I, I start to play with the tools when I was 10 years old. Mm. So, my my grandfather start on carving the canoe, 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 oh. and uh, and uh, that's how I start to carve with my father. My father start to carve the tikis, You're right? And uh, so he taught you, and the, he the taught basics. me how. Yeah, so it's it's traditional. So what, what kind of tools would you use to, to sculpt these they, pieces? They, I have different kind of uh, shape of tools. We call it V. Yeah. Is it shape v, like v a chisel? V. V chisel. V chisel. Yeah. And uh, a U. Right. And uh, a straight, straight chisel. Okay. So the V, I used to do the line with the V right. of what I need the tiki to be and then I shape it with the straight right. and then I do the details with a small V. With a small V? Small sisal. Oh. Okay. So, so th you would do like this kind of detail here in the in the forehead part of this mask with the, the V yeah, chisel? V chisel. Oh. Yeah. That, that's really an intricate work. I, I don't think I've seen anybody do this kind of detailed work in these tikis like this before. Is it a traditional kind of thing? Is this something that you learned, or is it a, yeah, it's a, a tradition a, of? Uh, that is uh, my own design. Mm. Yeah, Jedi. that's that's Jedi. Yeah, it's very nice. Legend. Yeah, what's the legend behind this piece? 
There's uh, four main deities in Hawaiian mythology. And uh, there's a lot, but a four main one is Lono, Kane, Kanaloa, and Ku. That is Kane. Kane. Uh -huh. Kane. Kane with the uh, eyes going up, open, stand for protection, power, and strength. Hmm. And on my left side is Lono, eyes down, serious looking, stand for good luck and peace. Awesome. And uh, one is uh, the Kanaloa, the smiling one. I have one big one outside. On a, okay. It's a uh, stand for love, prosperity, and happiness. Beautiful. Kanaloa. And the head guy is cool. Okay. Compared to shoes on a Greek mythology. Okay, we can go inside and yeah. have a look at these. Stand for everything. Like that who's there. He's like the philosopher of the of the culture, or how do you oh. think of him? A warrior god. He's a warrior god. He's a warrior, warrior. god. Yeah. Uh, he looks pretty fierce. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's he pretty dynamic. He stands for everything that the other three disciplines. And he's also really big too. This is yeah. a really yeah. fantastic piece. Yeah. Now this is this is very much like uh, the Polynesian tradition. So. Yeah. Um, being a jade artist, I know there's a lot of um, jade artists in New Zealand that also sculpt tiki's, but nothing yeah. like this that I've ever seen. But it's but yeah. it's similar. The tradition is kind of similar in the Polynesian. The Polynesian, right? Polynesian. And the, the New Zealand is mostly they do with the tongue. The tongue, yes. The tongue. Like and this. here we have one. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a combination. With the Maori. Yeah. Yeah, okay, this is a combination piece. Yeah. Yeah, I can see your work here with the detailing in the top and, and all throughout there. That's your own design work, right? Yeah. It's yeah. yeah, it's a asymmetrical piece rather than straight up totem. Like on the west coast of uh, Canada, there's the Haida natives that have a belief or believed to be a part of the Polynesian tradition, and they also did totems and, and animal forms in wood, and, uh, and uh, there, there's, some, there's some symmetry to it all, but it's, it's got a similar kind of following, I mean, with the design work, it's quite, quite similar in nature, so it's, it's a mystery, like the yeah, it's, Polynesian it's, people yeah, must Polynesian, have moved yeah. all around the Pacific yeah. at some time in the history, so yeah. share their tradition. So maybe you could just talk to me a little bit. I mean, you have this beautiful gallery here in, in Maui, and it's um, in Wailea. And um, it must have taken you a lot of time and, and hard work to get to this place because you look incredibly successful here as an artist. So maybe you could just share a little bit about how it, how it was for you when you first began. How, how yeah. was it to, to be a, a native artist and trying to sell your work. That is my dream for many, many years. When uh, I started uh, carving and that is my dream, so finally happened. Yeah. And uh, I start with the carving and uh, set up beside the road. I clean up the, the beside the road and uh, put my table on it and uh, start. Mm -hmm. On the... Uh, on, uh, 18 uh, and uh, 1996, uh, Grand Wailea invite me oh. to move up there. That's a big so, hotel here. Yeah, yeah. That is the biggest. Hotel. They like the quality of my work, so they want me to 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 sell my stuff uh, on the restaurant. So you moved from from working on the road. Yeah. To working in the hotel. In the hotel. In the hotel. That's a big step. Yeah. yeah. And. Uh, after many years, then I get this place. So I think that, uh, I get up to my dream, and uh, that's why I'm, uh, I'm, I think it's, it's a very blessing for me. It's great. I always pray for it right. to get this. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm very, very glad uh, to have this space. This big space is about 4,000 square feet. Yes, you So have. I'm still working on it to try to fill it up. Right. 
Yeah, but that's that is how I start. I start to sell my stuff beside the road yeah. for the tourists. Right. Yeah. So now I'm in a gallery. In a gallery. Yeah, in a gallery. So as, as artists, we all have to start somewhere. Yeah. And I think what it sounds like the, the common factor between all of us as artists is the hard work. What would it's you say? It's really hard. It's a really, really hard work. Hard work and yeah, dedication like, uh, to... All my big piece, I worked for it last 10 years, last 15 years, yeah. and I collect it at home so so I can, like, what, have what, this. what happened today. Yeah, have That this. is my dream, yeah. So when I get this, so all my big piece, I already do it. So you planned this. Yeah. This was an organ. This is a thing, a plan you've had in your mind for many, many yeah, years. Many, many years. So you planned to do these sculptures, and and you had had this concept to, that you worked towards. Yeah. So I love that. I love that. It's a fantastic. That's how you get success. I believe. I think that's my story as well. I always felt that I could become an international artist, uh, I and I had that goal in my mind all the time. And so I'd always strive to to get to that point. So now I can show my art all over the world. Yeah, and I think that is the, the happiest uh, time for me when I get the, get up to my plan, to my my your goal. dream, your yeah. dream, my dream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, I think that's that's the truth about um, all successful people. Yeah. Is they have a dream and they work oh, hard to get to it. Yeah. So there's no simple way, right? It's yeah. it's a, so it's the only way is to just have this idea and work hard towards it and it comes. And also I, I do some, uh, I collect the wood. The people know that I do the carving, so mm -hmm. I buy it from them. I, my home is packed up with a different kind of wood, like rosewood, wow. monkey bark, beautiful, coal. All rare, very yeah. rare kinds of wood. Yeah. Here's some of this. I'd say and all smaller the wood pieces. that I use is from Maui. Also, I have uh, ebony. Oh, that that's ebony. Lovely. Here's another piece here. All wonderful traditional designs here. Okay, and now I, I, I met your son, too, downstairs. Yeah. So I have uh, three sons, yeah. and they all come. So one of my son, he do his own in a uh, in, uh, corner. Okay. So, yeah, he's, he's good up there. And uh, one of my son doing coming in Lahaina, some of the hotel, yeah. he do it up there. And my, then my oldest son, I work with him. Great. So... So it's a tradition. It's your father yeah. taught you, and, and now are, you're teaching your sons. Yeah, they are yeah. the fourth generation. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, it's so important to keep on the tradition because right. where where else are people going to learn how to do this? There's nothing like this in a school or yeah. Where is it, where do you get in an art school? There's no such thing, right? It's got to be passed on from generation to generation. Right. It's so important to share this part of the culture. I believe it's just. Um, it's our heritage as human beings mm -hmm. to share where we came from. Right. So that's wonderful. I, I, I really appreciate your story. I think it's a fantastic thing to share with, and, uh, uh, with everybody. When I was uh, six years old, mm -hmm. I do some tattoo. Okay. And on my hand. Like yeah. that is the... Uh, you did that at six years old? Yeah. Wow. Do you know when the, the cook, we... We we do it on fire. Oh, on fire! Yeah, Hot. outside. Hot. So, so we get the dead from the pot. So you burn the skin and yeah, put and put it there, and then uh, no ink. Is the charcoal? Charcoal. Yeah. Charcoal. Oh. Yeah. So, wh why did you do that? That that's a. Uh, I don't know. Why I do that, but the, uh, that's the words that I first know how to write is the sun, 
the star and the moon. Okay. Yeah. So, it, so it, I don't know the time that I'm gonna be a sculpture, uh, uh, artist. Yeah. Is that is that a symbol of artistry? Yeah. It's a symbol of of an artist. To yeah. Have that. And you and you did that. At, uh, yeah. At, uh, Six years old. Wow. Six years old. Yeah, and so this is the result of 50 years of artistic yeah. work. Yeah, beautiful, fantastic. Thank you. So we have, um, you know, a couple of comments. I see Bo Killitz here. He's he's in touch and just want to say hi. And it is a fantastic story. And uh, Jesse Hall is here with us too. So um, Jesse is uh, also a great carver, and he works with. Uh, Variety of things, so I'm glad to have you all with us. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, I'm so glad that I meet with you. Okay, so, I'm really happy to meet with you too. Yeah. So, I, um, I think we can wrap it up now and say right. goodbye to everyone and okay. thanks for being part of this today. Thanks for the people that watch. Yeah.